The menstrual cycle of fertile women usually lasts about a month. During this time, and under the influence of the body's own natural hormones, a tiny sac within the ovary containing an egg grows to about the size of a grape. At a point midway in the cycle, this egg is released from the ovary and ovulation occurs. Ovulation is also regulated by hormones. The egg, which from this moment on is ready for fertilization, then passes into the uterine tubes to await the arrival of fertile sperm. Ovulation is a naturally occurring event, and the desire to have children is a similarly natural instinct. But that instinct cannot always be fulfilled. The causes of unwanted childlessness are numerous, but so are the means of treating them. A further development of IVF is the technique of intracytoplasmic sperm injection, or ICSI for short. This is a method which has revolutionized the treatment of male infertility in recent years and gives men with poor quality sperm the chance of fathering their own children. In natural conception, many millions of sperm cells in each ejaculation are necessary for fertilization. In ICSI, just one may be enough. Women having ICSI are given special reproductive hormones to encourage several eggs to develop in the ovaries. The eggs are then removed from the ovary in a short outpatient procedure. Fertilization in ICSI is achieved by injecting an individual sperm cell into each of the collected eggs. For this purpose, each egg is placed under a very powerful microscope and a single sperm cell is injected directly into it by means of a very fine needle. Following injection, and after about 24 hours in the incubator, most of the eggs will show signs of fertilization and the cells divide and multiply to form an embryo. After two or three days, a healthy embryo will comprise around eight cells. It is then transferred to the uterus by means of a thin flexible needle where it is left to implant and form a pregnancy.